to talk about a, a women's basketball three on three, Shams. I don't know a lot, so I am excited to hear the details on this one. So, Michelle, it's a it's a league, three on three league, six team league as of right now. The first 30 players that will sign deals with the league will get an equity ownership stake in the league as well. It starts in January. The games will be played in an arena, in a gym in Miami, uh, there's a thousand person gym in Miami. And Brianna Stewart, Nafisa Collier, the two WNBA stars, are the co founders of the league. And they started it with the hopes of trying to provide a different uh, platform, a different way for these women to make money, especially in the off season. You see a lot of women going abroad and having to go overseas to, to play professionally uh, to also earn a salary and earn a living. Uh, but this league will run opposite of the WNBA season. It's going to be running the winners, and it's going to have the highest average salary in women's professional sports history. And so you think about the numbers. The average salary in the WNBA is $120,000. I'm told uh, the salary in, in this unrivaled league is going to be about double that. The average salary will be about double that. And you think about the top salaries, the Supermax in the WNBA is $241,000. I'm told... Uh, this league will have a significantly higher top salary. Uh, they're going to spend a lot more on the top players than that amount of money. And I, I think you think about this league, it's three on three league. It'll be played in, in a full court. So more spacing. They're hoping that having the best players coming over from the WNBA playing in this league in the off season, essentially is going to provide the best of the best platform for these WNBA players. And also eventually for whatever audience uh, they cater to, on a on a linear platform as well as in in person. Shams, I, you cut out for one split second during that. Are, did you say that they're playing the entire league? The games will be played in one arena in Miami. Yes, it'll be in a okay. thousand person arena in Miami, um, right. and the games will start in January. All right, so sixteen teams times three. That's forty eight spots. The first thirty get equity thinking you should run quickly to get over there. What do you guys think, Lou? Are you interested in this? I think it's amazing. I, I love the way that the, the game is growing out. You know, we're taking opportunities, not only just five on five, now we're venturing into the three on three space. And we're also giving these young ladies an opportunity to make more income, to, to have another source of income, you know, to try to get them up there to the point where they're considered, considered million dollar athletes by endorsements, by this league, by, you know, your regular contract, maybe still have an opportunity to go overseas and play. So the platforms that, that are being created, um, salute, kudos to, to Brianna Stewart and, and, and everybody that's involved in, in getting this off the ground. I think it's an amazing opportunity. These type of things, they always make me proud. You know, I'm, I'm in the women's basketball. I'm, I'm, I'm in the trenches every day with these young ladies trying to create opportunities, trying to get them ready to have something to look forward to. So this is a great opportunity for them to make more income and to put more exposure on the game. I love it. Chandler, this is, I mean, A, a lot of these women have families, they have lives, you know, having to uproot all that just to go make a couple extra bucks somewhere overseas, a different country. Uh, imagine when you're young, that's fun. But at some point, you kind of want to not have to do that. So how stoked do you see this? And not only that, but the salaries being just starting out as good as they are. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Just the progress that they've made with just the everything, with the chartered flights, with the salaries now. Shams, you said double the salary they're getting now <laughs> during the full season for a three-on-three -three tournament in Miami. Like you said, Michelle, these girls, they have families. They have kids. So a lot of times you see them go overseas just to, you know, to afford a, a nice lifestyle. Now you can go and do this and, and you know, be in Miami, play on this three-on-three, -three, make it competitive. So I love it. I think it's great for their game. I love all the buzz that they're getting. I love all the compensation that they're getting financially. So I think this is an unbelievable idea. It's going to be interesting. I mean, I I, I think it's, this might even end up being more watched than the actual WNBA 515 <laughs> game. So I, I think it's fun. I think it's great for them. I, uh, I love this. This is uh, this is exciting. This was a big piece of a story. It's six teams, not 16. Am I deaf? I think I'm deaf. Uh, you guys, we do have a game tonight. I, yeah, I just, I'm, something's going on.